Who, what grade are you going into now? I'm going into the eighth grade. 14-year-old Taylor Richardson aspires to be an astronaut. But in the meantime, she's been making her mark as a volunteer in her community of Jacksonville, Florida. Taylor's received many awards for her generous deeds, like starting a book drive that donated over 3,000 books to children in her area. It's pretty surreal and overwhelming because, you know, this is a kid who at nine years old was bullied, uh, retained, um, has ADHD, and now to see so many people seeing what she's doing and admiring her, it just shows people that she can be anything too if you just work hard and overcome those obstacles. Taylor shows me some of her favorite mementos that she's gathered over the years. This is the book that has meant a lot to you. Tell yeah. us about this. This was actually my first autobiography about Dr. Mae Jemison, and it was the book that really sparked me to become an astronaut. Mae Jemison was the first African-American woman to be selected by NASA as an astronaut. A doctor of medicine, Mae was a mission specialist who traveled aboard Space Shuttle Endeavor in 1992. What inspires me most about her is that she looks like me and when I was that age I never found anybody in STEM who was African-American also a woman so when I saw her I was like oh wow that's amazing. With her sights set on becoming an astronaut Taylor eventually meets Mae Jemison herself. It's quite humbling sometimes to know that you have an impact on someone else's life to know that they look up to you that way. One lesson Taylor has learned is the importance of giving back to her community, such as volunteering at this YMCA-sponsored camp. I think Taylor's a role model because she's an everyday kind of girl. So she doesn't let her love of science stop her from being a kid. Taylor especially enjoys visiting elementary schools where she can read books to young children. When I was little, I wasn't a really good reader, so I felt like reading was very important in life as you grow up, so I feel like everybody deserves a book and deserves how to read. Of all her many honors and encounters, one of Taylor's best moments was being invited to the White House to watch the movie Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures depicts the significant behind-the-scenes role African-American women had in helping NASA put astronauts in space. I really like that movie because it lets girls know, especially girls of color, that they can be anything they want, no matter if it's a male-dominated field, if it's a doctor, a scientist, it lets them know that we can do anything as women in this world. As Taylor flies back home with her mother, she then makes a special request. On the way flying back from the White House, she had said, oh, mom, this movie is just something I just think all girls should see. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. And she was like, I want to take some girls. And I'm thinking, oh, we can, you know, five or six girls. So she was like, no, 100. So as we were flying, I was like, how are we going to do that? And so she's like, oh, let's just do GoFundMe to send 100 girls to see Hidden Figures. And um, from that, it went from trying to raise $2,500 to raising almost 20000 locally. In Jacksonville alone, Taylor enables over a thousand students to see hidden figures. You made this event happen. So how did it feel to see those kids who got to see the movie because of you? I felt just really excited and happy. I felt like these girls were impacted to let them know that we're not just girls here in the world. We're empowered women and we can do anything we want. One of these days, with advancements in technology, will eventually send astronauts all the way to Mars. Taylor Richardson would love to be one of the first people to set foot on the red planet. I want to figure out if there's stuff on the planet that could help us down here on Earth. Before I become an astronaut, I want to be an engineer, mechanical, chemical, any type of engineer. I'm just really excited about that. In the meantime, Taylor is doing what she can to make a difference. I'll be the one cheering her on if she's taking flight to Mars or if she decides to be an engineer for NASA and build them. Whatever Taylor decides, I'm sure she'll be great at it. I saw the check, nigga. Huh?